So this is Dr. Paul Chugay, and we're here back with our patient, um, and now we're going to do the markings for uh, the abdominoplasty. So, all right, so here we go. All right, so first things first, what we want to do is really try and recreate the pubic area for him. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to do a pubic lift at the same time that we're doing his abdominoplasty. So at some point later, we will have to do some sort of surgery to these areas, but at this point, the patient says that those aren't areas that bother him. It's really all this that's hanging that is really the biggest concern. So what we're going to do is just pull this down just a bit so that we can reveal the tissues below. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark things where we would like them. So what I'm doing is pulling up ever so slightly on the pubic area to try and find that ideal incision point. And so... What we're going to do now, right, let's see, can you hold it right there? Actually, yes, perfect. All right. And so, what we're doing is finding a point that's about seven to eight centimeters above where the shaft of the penis would begin, and that will be our incision line. And so, now what we're going to do is mark our midline based on where his shaft begins. Put that down. And now what we're going to do is now mark the his midline basically from the xiphoid process downward. And you can almost see the midline created based on just how the folds of skin come into the central portion. And ultimately, these are just guides to help us when it comes to closure at the end of the surgery. All right. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to feel where his pubic bone is, or his acis is, the anterior superior iliac spine. We're going to mark that as our lateral extent of the excision. We will probably go just a bit beyond that to avoid any sort of a dog ear on both sides. We'll go ahead and let that sign down. Now some, patient, some uh, surgeons might say, well, couldn't you do a belt lipectomy and go all the way around? And we could, but the idea is to try and minimize the scar on the back side. So what we're actually going to do, uh, because he doesn't have a tremendous amount up here, is, is do just a bit of... Uh, vaser liposuction, heating up that tissue, uh, allowing for better contracture afterwards, and trying to avoid that scar extension onto the back. Now, if we have to come back at a later point to further excise because maybe there's a dog ear that still remains, that's something that we've discussed. It's something we can do, but for right now, we're really focusing on just trying to take as much of this excess away as possible at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and lift that up. So yeah, lift that up right there. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm these marks with the patient laying down just to make sure that I'm happy with where everything's marked so that we're not taking the incisions too high because ultimately what's going to determine the position of our scar is the lower tissues which are actually uh, tented down by the zones of adherence down here in the upper thigh and so it's this mobile tissue that basically will allow us to control the scar in a lower position. Okay. So having pinched his skin before and now again, this is where I'm going to say is my conservative line, you know, of what I can take based on what I can feel from below at our point of uh, the incision. 
and I feel that I can get very comfortably to that. Now, if I can get higher than that, we will try, but at this point, that would be the most uh, that we could presume to take off at this point in time. Now that we've marked out what we're going to take out, we're going to just make some vertical lines as reference lines for us at the time of surgery so we can kind of match things up. There we go. Thank you. All right. These are again just guys. It's not a certainty that we're going to use these lines, but they will at least give us some means of bringing the tissues back together. done with all this skin. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to aim to do then is obviously lift up the pubic area. We're going to bring down and take care of all this loose skin to bring him to an incision line that in my estimation will be down here in the lower pubic area that will be very easily covered up by any sort of a bathing suit or underwear. Then we will do some uh, marking from the back side. So I'm going to have you turn around my friend and we're going to mark the back side. And you can see that there is definitely some laxity back here. You know, but we've discussed that we really don't want to have that incision on the back side. So what we're going to try and do is then try and do a little bit of vasor liposuction to these areas in the hopes that after surgery things will contract down. And so what I'm going to do is just mark out the upper excursion of the gluteus when I push up. That will kind of give me an idea of where I need to recreate. So we're just going to have two small incisions, one on either side, and then we'll have one small incision that will begin right here in his natural crease to then help take care of this area as well. And so now we're just going to mark out these pockets that we want to really focus on. You can see just because of some minor asymmetry, he has a little bit more on this side than this side. And we'll do our best to try and make sure that that doesn't become an issue afterwards. However, you can never guarantee 100% symmetry if there's already any symmetry to begin with. And then what I'm going to mark is basically the upper extent to which I want to go. I don't want to be going further up into this area because that will only deepen the existing indentation that he has. And down the road, if he ever decides, we can always do something to do like a lift uh, and excise some of the loose skin. But that's something we've already talked about and made plan for the future. All right. All right, my friend. We're all sitting here, and then we'll go into the next room and uh, basically confirm our markings. Any questions while we're in here? No. no? All right, my friend. Dr. Chibi? We're going to take good care of you. Yes. Uh, just while you're on film here, could you just explain in just absolute non-medical terms what you're doing? Sure. Just, just, I think it would help the general audience, but just, sure. just right down to you know, uh, what you're going to do in just layman's terms. Well, we're basically going to take care of all the loose skin that's bothering him. He has a lot of loose skin that's you know, bugging him, particularly in, in the tummy area, and he wants to be able to enjoy his activities a bit more without having this apron of skin. 
Um, and although he has other areas that we've talked about doing, you know, in someone that's lost such a significant amount of weight, you really want to try and minimize how many areas you're treating at once. And so for that reason, we've elected to first focus on the tummy, get that looking its best, and then down the road, if it's still necessary, we can still address all the other issues. We really want to focus on giving him a flatter tummy and try and get those hips taken care of so that basically he doesn't have the bulges and the, you know, extra weight that he has right now. Okay. So does that mean like you're just going to cut the skin out or, or just... Well, no. So what you can also see is that just because of the amount that he gained, he gained a significant amount of weight and then basically his abdominal musculature underneath is probably going to be a little bit loose. And so we will eval evaluate that when we're in the operating room. But from the external aspect, what you're going to see is the removal of the excess skin in this area. And then when we're on the inside, what we're going to do is evaluate the muscle wall. If we find that it is loose, which it probably will be, we will then put some sutures basically from his rib cage all the way down here, almost creating an internal corset and bringing in his musculature so that basically he now has a solid and firm abdominal wall. Sounds good. That is perfect. Thank you so much and thank you, Rodriguez.